Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Adventures. We're just uh, starting a little trip out into the Victorian high country, making a little head start in the afternoon. We've headed out of Melbourne, met up with a couple other vehicles around Hillsville, up through the Black Spur, turned right off Marinda Highway at Taggarty, and we're driving along that road now, and we're taking our next turn, and that's a right turn. I don't know if I'm giving you too much details here. Lucky subscribers. We're turning right at Rubicon Road and just going to make our way down to the camp there at, there's a couple of different camps, a few k's up the road here now, probably I'll take a guess, it might be about 5 k's up the road. There's a couple of different ways into this camp, this is the sealed roadway, two wheel drive vehicle way if you like, it's, you know, you can get in there by two wheel drive. It's a, it's a Sunday afternoon so we're not too fast. we believe it's not going to be too busy because all the campers would have uh, been heading back for work tomorrow morning. So sorry about that because uh, that's not how we roll when we've got this awesome weather. That mountain in front of us, we've just come from over across on the right hand side is Melbourne direction. So we're kind of going around the mountain. You can actually uh, turn into some other campsites off Maroondah Highway uh, before I think that's before the oh geez, I can't remember back I can't remember exactly where the turn is what's it called cathedrals or something like that anyway so you can camp in there that's very two-wheel drive and you can actually go over the mountain if you've got a full drive and come down park track there's a name for you park track it, it can be last time I was on it very overgrown it was getting very overgrown uh, last time I was on it I thought this is ridiculous I don't think I'm gonna bother coming up and down this track again but it's not that, it's the time of the day. At the moment, we're looking at about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's a perfect time to arrive at a campsite and set up. So that's what we're gonna do. We've just got the swags. So just a few k's up the road here, we'll be turning into campsite. I'll show you where that is. Show you around the campsite a little bit. It's on the side of the river. And then tomorrow we'll get into some tracks somewhere. Here we are, we're just turning into Kendall's camping area this is the camp area so we'll get in there we'll find ourselves our spot and then i'll show you around a little bit all right so this is the spot there's a whole heap of camp little camp spots here we normally sort of tuck in over over in that corner but there's some people there some nice little there's heaps of private little camp spots there this is just as you come in wouldn't normally camp right here on the driveway as you come in and out but it's a Sunday, so we don't expect too much traffic. We've got the, uh, we've got the toilets right there. Nice big green grass area, a little bit of timber left over. Happy days. Check out that view, mate. Get on the beers, like Dan said. So yeah, a couple of hours has passed. Nice quiet camp spot, not too much traffic, minimal cars going in and out. But I see ourselves a nice little uh, spot here. Get the fire going soon and then soon we'll be uh, tomorrow morning up over those hills there. Looks to me as though someone's uh, lost their water bottle, hey? Decor Sport. I reckon they're gone for the weekend. They'll be uh, not coming back. So, what do we do? Do we take it? They could be uh, one of these people up here and come back for it. This is where you come and get your free bath. Trying to get your view of the river here in the rapids. There is actually a pathway upstream about 500 metres that goes to a nice little rock pool. Water here is usually nice and cold. So 
So if you've been watching our videos, we've been talking about batteries a little bit, and here we are. Might be a bit of a flicker in the camera, but here we are, putting hot drinks in the fridge right now. Compressors running, and the lights are on. 16 bucks at Super Center. When it comes to lights, that's all you need. You don't really spend big dollars, right? You need a bit more light. You can see what you're doing here, can't you? Check this out. If you want to spend a bit more, you can get all the light for cooking you need. With a compressor running. Look at this. Can you see that? I'll help you out if you can't see it. 12.3 volts with the compressor running. It's pitch black dark. It's about 9, 10 o'clock at night. There's no light left, right? Got a bit of light there, you got a bit of a campfire. Happy days. Compressor running. 12.3. Alright, here we go. That's it for the night. That's the uh, first day of the trip. I reckon those couple of spuds there, we better get them out of the fire. <laughs> they will be absolutely charcoal get them out put a sit on the concrete nah, nah, they're do not they, even cooked mate. do they feel a bit soft you reckon or are nah, they firm fine, still mate. they still need more you sure <laughs> yeah. need more yeah another 20 minutes all right. at least. did you put butter in there or no nah, that you put butter in after put all the right. butter out. i don't know about that anyway We're all right guys risky. thanks for watching <laughs> stay tuned subscribe turn the bell on if you want to see what's happening tomorrow that's today butter bing we're out of here butter boom see ya butter boom